Well, here to analyze some top moments, pollster Frank Luntz. Good morning, Frank. Good to have you here. Good morning. Thank you. So, you know, the, the members of the media can talk all day long about their own opinions of the speech. What really matters is what the American people think. And you, you, you found that out for us. Well, there's one clip in particular that stood out where he mm -hmm. differentiated his leadership from those that came before him. There's been a lot of arguments about what he said or didn't say, but this clearly was the most impactful moment of his inauguration speech. Let's take a look. Today, we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another or from one party to another, but we are transferring power from Washington, D.C., and giving it back to you, the people. What truly matters is not which party controls our government, but whether our government is controlled by the people. That's powerful. Whether our government is controlled by the people. Now, Donald Trump says that he wrote that speech. That's the best line. It's a line that I would have been proud to have created. Uh, it demonstrates that there really is a change in focus. It demonstrates that there's a change in, in the commitment to keeping your promises and saying what you mean and meaning what you say. There are other things in this speech I might have done differently, but that is speech perfection. He should be applauded for that. If someone had told you, Frank, and handed you just a transcript of that speech and said that this was delivered by Bernie Sanders up in Vermont, would you have believed it? Well, I would have expected uh, that he would have talked about uh, making the rich poor. I would have expected <laughs> that he would have talked about a lot of free stuff. So, no, actually, I, I, it, it sounds like a Donald Trump speech, but he's speaking to millions of people who feel forgotten and feel betrayed. Right. And they won't feel forgotten anymore. And why do I think the protesters would not have come out if it had been Bernie Sanders uh, speaking? Well, that's it, for sure. It, yeah. That's for sure. A very different tone on patriotism, on America first, for sure. But you saw those protesters firsthand, Frank. You tweeted about your experience at the Women's March. I'm going to put that tweet up on the screen that you mentioned. You said, I've never seen such ineffective protesters in my life. They carry love Trump's hate while shouting disgusting comments women's march. So you talk about the effectiveness of the inaugural. Um, would you say that the protests were ineffective as a response? Well, I got hit directly by it, and I've debated whether or not to talk about it because I don't want to encourage mm. it. I do about 100 page speeches a year, and I don't want this to ever happen to anyone, particularly me. But a woman walked up to me in the Marriott Marquis, and she shouted, you fascist, and then two other words that would get me fired from your network. Uh, and she threw this red confetti glitter right in my eyes and she picked up another handful and she was no more than six inches away and I was covered with this stuff and since when do you have the right or or just the ability to attack people in a private setting in a private matter I mean you're gonna end up hurting someone I'm gonna tell you something these protests are out of control the language is out of control there are eight nine ten year olds watching this they read these horrible words from these signs and and to have to face this personally I mean, you can see I get choked up I never thought this would be America I no. never thought this would happen in this country I'm sorry you had to deal with that and, and that along with Madonna saying that she's thought many times about blowing up the White House what did you what do you think they were trying to accomplish yesterday I think they want to prove that they can be as loud and obnoxious and in your face as possible. I think they want to try to intimidate the Trump administration. But the thing that bothers me the most is there is no unity. We're not going to cure these divisions. This is going to go on, not just for months, but probably for years. I really think yeah. we are seeing not the end, but the beginning of this violent action in this country. Frank Luntz, yeah, spot on. Thanks for your analysis. It is. It's, a, it's an attempt to discredit. And as, uh, as Reince Priebus said on Fox News Sunday, when they want to fight back tooth and nail every day and twice on Sunday. That will make for a, a fight for four years. Thank you, Frank. To say the least. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Hello.